there is so much on our Earth that we haven't explored. While we're busy with that, reports have told us that there are unknown artifacts that have come down to our planet from space. The reports make it look likely, but it is something an individual can only decide after being aware of all the news. Today, we bring you some mysterious artifacts that have landed on Earth from space. Some ufologists and pseudo-archaeologists claim that the Dropa Stones, also known as the Dizopa Stones, Dropos Stones, or Dropka Stones, are a group of at least 716 circular stone disks allegedly 12,000 years old and on which there may be minute hieroglyphic writing. According to claims, each disk has a diameter of up to one foot, 30 centimeters, and two grooves that spiral outward from a hole in the middle. The hieroglyph-like markings are claimed to be found in these grooves. The stones are believed to be a hoax because no evidence of them being displayed in any museums worldwide has been discovered. The fact that the artifact is constructed of aluminum, a substance unknown to humankind until the 1800s, is the leading cause of conspiracy theories surrounding the aluminum wedge of Ayud. However, there are indications that the wedge is about 10,000 years old. The wedge's use of aluminum, a metal unknown to humanity and not produced until the 1800s, is the catalyst for the alien conspiracy theory around it. Additionally, given indicators that the artifact is much older, a conspiracy theory has a strong foundation. The wedge is thought to have been created by aliens. Romanian ufologist Florin Georgita is one of the theorists who supports the notion. She thinks that an alien spacecraft brought the relic to Earth. She is just one of many ufologists and archaeologists who believe that the wedge proves former extraterrestrial activity and presence on Earth. People who have looked into the wedge's formation contend that it is not a natural formation. Nevertheless, some scientists think the object is a hoax. Many believe that the metal wedge of the Ayud was created on Earth, but the function hasn't been determined, just as archaeologists claim the item has an alien origin considering how little is known about the wedge. Most experts agree that the first land animals hadn't yet evolved into dinosaurs because the Earth was only 300 million years old. If so, how can you account for the finding in Russia of a UFO component, a specific machine part, embedded within a lump of coal that is 300 million years old? Has the artifact's classification been accurate? After a metallic-looking rail or rod was driven into the coal, Dimitri contacted biologist Valerie Breer in the seashore primary region. Initial examination of the strange object led researchers to assert that it looked very much like a toothed metal rail created artificially. It was like parts that are often used in microscopes, various technical and electronic devices, wrote Kamskamalskaya Pravda. The issue lump of coal came from the Chernogorodsky mines in the Caucasus area. According to specialists, the unusual bit of metal discovered in the coal must also be that old because the coal seams in the area of the country extend back 300 million years, according to the Voice of Russia, an international Russian broadcast service. A fireball dropped over Costa Rica on April 23, 2019. In honor of the town close to its fall, this fireball, later determined to be a meteorite, was given the name Aguas Zarkis, AZ. Since 1969, it would be the first significant meteorite of its kind to strike Earth. To determine this meteorite's type, scientists took a sample. Lawrence Garvey, a meteorite curator at Arizona State University, concluded that AZ was a carbonaceous meteorite. The meteorite shares a kind with its more well-known precursor from 1969, the Murchison meteorite. The 11 pounds of AZ meteorite that had been obtained quickly rose in value relative to gold, thanks to this designation. Because they include a wide range of extraterrestrial organic compounds and hydrated minerals, carbonaceous meteorites are unique. Around 4.5 billion years ago, they were formed during the early stages of the solar system. Some grains predate the sun by millions of years. These meteorites paint a picture of the prehistoric Earth and the early solar system. Knowing the characteristics of these primordial substances on Earth and in the solar system may explain how and when life may have originated. 
A reference point for comprehending the early organic chemistry of our solar system is the 1969 Murchison meteorite. Keith Van Valden, a research scientist, discovered amino acid in Murchison in 1970. The source of these amino acids was thought to be space. A ceramic pot, a copper tube, and an iron rod are the three items collectively referred to as the Baghdad battery. It was found in 1936 in what is now Kajut Rabu, Iraq, not far from the city of Tsiphon, which served as the capital of the Parthian, 150 BC to 223 AD, and Sasanian, 224 to 650 AD empires. It is thought to be from either of these eras, or maybe it came from somewhere other than Earth. Its origin and function are yet unknown. In the 1930s, Wilhelm Koenig worked as an assistant at the Iraq Museum. He had seen some very delicate silver artifacts from ancient Iraq that were electroplated with what appeared to be a very thin coating of gold. He proposed the theory that they might have created a galvanic cell, possibly used to electroplate gold onto silver objects, in a paper he wrote in 1938. Critics rejected this perspective. Both testing and metal corrosion shows that the jar once contained an acidic substance, like wine or vinegar. As a result, it was hypothesized that the fluid served as an acidic electrolyte solution used to produce an electric current from the difference in potential between the electrodes. Ali A. Barakat found Hypatia stone in December 1996 at 25 degrees 20 minutes north, 25 degrees 30 minutes east, close to a dark, slag-like glassy substance that was thought to be a type of Libyan desert glass. The philosopher, astronomer, mathematician, and inventor Hypatia of Alexandria, c. 350 to 370 AD to 415 AD, is honored by the name of the rock. Despite widespread agreement that Hypatia is an extraterrestrial rock, the Meteoritical Society does not formally classify it as a real meteorite specimen based on its small size. The original material, weighing about 30 grams, was divided into smaller pieces and sent to other labs for analysis. Hypatia includes tiny diamonds, according to tests conducted in South Africa by researcher Jan Kramers and Georgie Bellianen from the University of Johannesburg. Although pioneers dismissed significant terrestrial contamination as being impact autogenic from the incorporation of the terrestrial atmosphere, the physics of which are unresolved, some believe the Hypatia material is necessary of extraterrestrial origin due to the presence of several anomalous isotopic distributions unknown in the prior association. The hypothesis that Hypatia is a remnant piece of a hypothetical impacting body thought to have formed a chemically distinct Libyan desert glass is supported by the comparative statistical connections. If this correlation is correct, Hypatia may have collided with Earth around 28 million years ago. Its particular chemistry has sparked further rumors that Hypatia predates the birth of the solar system. With research and regular investigation of these artifacts, it wouldn't be fair to rule out the thought that they might not be from our planet. However, who sent these objects here is the real question. That's it for today's video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't, because we will bring you more exciting videos like these in the future.